back to my channel, Mrs. Shank Knits. My name is May, and this video shows off five beautiful sock patterns from designer Isa Zierbeck, aka The Knit Savvy. I recently did a test knit for Isa for her Spring Bloom Socks pattern. I really enjoyed the pattern. I gushed about it on my podcast a little bit. I'll link that in the description because um, the lace part in the front was so fun to knit and the gusset construction was unlike any other sock pattern I had ever seen before and I've knit a lot of socks over the years. Here are the Spring Bloom socks and to celebrate their recent release they're actually 20% off on Ravelry until April 17th with the code, with the code BLOOM20. So once this pattern was released, I did a deep dive into her designs on Ravelry and wow, like I knew she specialized in socks so I was not surprised to find a collection of sock patterns, but they are all so gorgeous, like one winner after another. There are 16 designs in total, eight of them are socks, all of them are my cue. Um, and she also has a handful of other accessories. So in this video, I'm showing off my five favorite um, Isa sock patterns and a bonus accessory pattern that I just could not possibly leave out. The first pattern that caught my attention was her Bubbles of Joy socks. So first of all, just look at this cuteness. These are adorable. I'd absolutely wear this myself, um, and I think they make a really fun gift knit too. They're cuff down shorties with a heel flap construction. It was written for Magic Loop, but you can modify any pattern to DPNs if that's what you would rather do. Uh, they have the cutest little bobbles along the top of the foot and such a sweet ruffle trim around the ankle. Here they're pictured with like a slight contrast, but you could really go full contrast and like do the ruffle in a totally different color if you wanted to. I just love these for myself, <laughs> for my teenage daughters too, and anyone who likes a little childhood joy in their sock drawer. So these are my number one pick, Bubbles of Joy. From here I'm just going in the order that I decided to include them in. So this next one was an easy second on the list, the Caramel Spill Socks. This pattern is also top down with a peasant heel construction, which is a really neat technique to try out. So if it's new to you, don't be intimidated, just try. Uh, the sample pair is done in like one main color with a contrasting raised stripe, heel, toe, and cuff are all the same. You can go muted and subtle, or you can go crazy multicolor and mix it up like with a whole bunch of different colors, or you can stick to like a color palette and mix it up just a little. I really like the idea of a variegated main color with a solid contrast. I think it'd be fun to make it in someone's favorite colors for a birthday or like Christmas colors for matching holiday socks. Um, and this pattern is actually available for free when you sign up to Isa's newsletter. I know this for certain because I signed up and got the pattern myself. Next up are these super cozy looking socks, aptly called cozy wafer socks. I agonize over adding these to the list, honestly, because she has much more complex socks that would like maybe more likely make someone else's top five Isa sock list. Um, but these are the kind of socks that you'll knit again and again, just because of how cozy they are. Um, they're knit in an Aran weight yarn, so they'll knit up like really fast, and they're done cuffed down with a heel flap, which is what most of us are used to doing, I think, so they'd be quick. And the texture of the pattern reminds me of the long underwear that we wear all winter in Canada, so it's an instant cozy classic for me. This is absolutely the pattern that will make perfect matching Christmas socks for the family, and I feel like the guys in my family would lean more towards this design than some others. Uh, plus, in air weight, they'll feel like slippers, and this could be a fun project for leftover sweater yarn, too. Number four on this list is the festive garland pattern. These socks are just beautiful and absolutely remind me of a festive garland. I adore that the center cable stems from the ribbing on the cuff. I absolutely love patterns that do that. And the extra touches of the stitch pattern on the back of the leg, plus the bordering details are just so pretty. The construction is really cool, too. So these socks are actually in the toe up with a flegal heel. Look it up if you haven't seen it. I'm gonna do a video about it, the Flegal Heel. Um, and that I think really adds to the overall vibe of these socks. You can kind of see here how this toe up heel looks. That's really cool. Uh, her samples are done for this in a Christmassy green and red. And hilarious that I keep suggesting doing her other sock patterns as Christmas socks because these could just as easily be like any solid color, anytime sock. And finally, sock pattern number five is the wickery socks. I immediately see the wicker basket inspiration in these socks. I feel like you can't help it. They have the same amazing gusset decreases as the spring bloom socks I love so much. 
Um, it was really neat to see it come up again here in these because I hadn't ever seen it before. They're top down with a heel flap construction and of course they are these fun cables all down the top of the foot. She's included both a chart and written instructions for the cable so you can just use whichever you like. I feel like these are really decadent looking socks. A little involved because of the cabling and then for the socks to make a nice pair each one has its own sort of direction for the cable to lean so they have their own pattern like their own separate chart. So they make a really lovely pair of socks for yourself of course and a very nice gift for someone who is especially knit worthy. Okay so that was five sock patterns but I have to include just one more pattern not socks this time this adorable leaf scrunchie. Like how cute is this? I love it so much. It's available on its own and also in a bundle called Good Hair Day Scrunchies with two other scrunchie patterns. The flounce scrunchie, which I test knitted and loved, and the ornament scrunchie, which is actually two scrunchie patterns in one. And that one is available for free right now during her uh, scrunchie make along. It's a scrunch along Isa is holding with um, two other designers. I will link Isa's Instagram so you can follow her over there and keep an eye out for testing calls. If you like test knitting, it'll be fun to test for her. I really enjoy doing that. Um, and my next cast on from this list will be one of the ornament scrunchies for the scrunch along. And I have absolutely got to make myself a pair of her bubbles of joy socks. They're so, so cute. And even if you're not a sock knitter, leave a comment with your favorite pattern from this list. It is so neat to see everyone's choices. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up to show some support. And if you're new here and you like these casual videos, subscribe to my channel for more. And if you're not following me on Instagram, I post daily knitting inspiration and whips and pretty yarns over there all the time. I am Mrs. Shank Knits over there. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.